since you went through the trouble of learning what projective space is, I want to show one use case where it's quite useful to have projective coordinates. So when we calculate elliptic curves on finite fields, we quite often have to do field inversions, which is expensive because we usually just raise the element to the highest possible power, that it's its order minus one. And that's expensive because we have to do double and add, we have to uh, uh, raise to a very large power. And if we do that a lot, it becomes a bottleneck. So with projective coordinates, we have uh, formulas for point addition that actually work without inversion. However, we don't really need those formulas here. But one way to think of that is that we keep the divisor of all our computations in projective space and then just all the way in the end we have the divisor in the z-coordinate and then just we have to invert the z-coordinate only once. So if we do point addition in projective space we only have to invert once. However, we'll actually use projective space in, uh, in another context that you'll see in the next videos. But this is a, a common use case for projective spaces to avoid field inversions.